Okay, so hello fellow coin collectors, this is Nissus Glenn back with another video. And in today's video, we're looking at UK coins, especially. And in this series, we're looking at the florin issued between 1947 and 51. And this is the King George VI series in copper and nickel. So the 1947 was the first year in which these were issued in copper and nickel. And we have a look at the coin design before we go into the values of these coins and the mintages. So we've got the rose that represents England. We've got the thistle that represents uh, Scotland. And the uh, clover that represents Ireland. Now, the leek would represent the Wales or the Welsh people, but that is not represented on this coin. Uh, so this pretty much is in uh, congruence with the coat of arms of the United Kingdom. And all these are 20 cent size or the old 10 pence size. And they have fine milling. So we take a, okay, we take an Irish 10 pence coin. You can see the milling is quite thin. And you'll see a country that adopted the same style of images usually change the milling so the silver coins would have a coarser milling and i don't have one on the table to compare it oh wait i've got an irish got another irish florin and you can see the milling there so that that's pretty much what the uk done as well so that's how you tell the difference between silver and copper and nickel the edge milling, also the date as well. So we have a mintage for 1947 of 22 million. And in this condition, which is fine, you're probably talking about $1. In uncirculated, you're probably talking about $10. Then we have 1948. This one is in uh, a bit better condition. Uh, not, not really that good. Also fine condition, but this has a mintage of three times, so 67 million, which is quite a lot. Then also a bad dollar in this condition. Uh, so you probably see prices in the past, you're probably like 30, 40 cents. But those values, you really can't buy a coin for 30 or 40 cents now. Even in coin shops, the prices have just gone up so much. Okay, so... Here we have 49 to 51. And you can see the difference is that they removed India Imperial because India got independence in 1948. So in 1949, they removed that. And they just put Fidai Defender at the top instead of around here. And on the obverse is the same. So that's pretty much the only difference in that one. Uh, so they did circulate alongside each other up until 1971 when they were removed from circulation. Now they demonetized, I think, um, 2006. If uh, 1993 they were removed, demonetized. When they reduced the size of the 10 pence coin. Okay, 49 they had a mintage of 28 million. So in this condition, uh, which is also fine, we're talking about dollar. And then circulated, talk about five or six dollars. Then we have 50. So this is also in the same condition. Has a mintage of 24 million. Uh, 357,000. So these are all very common coins. Also, you can get an uncirculated between five and ten dollars. Then we have the last coin issued for the reign of King George VI. And this one's in better condition. Uh, this is probably very fine because the other ones, how I grade these is the hair. I can see a lot more of the hair on this one. This is pretty worn. And also the front of the rose. So where's my pen? So this part here, the rose and the top of the thistle. That's what I use to compare it, and also the leaves. And as you can see, you can see a lot of the rose compared to this. 
top of the fissure still a bit worn but you can see it's still separated and this one has a mintage of uh, 27 million four hundred and eleven thousand has the same value as the other ones in this condition very fine you're probably talking also a dollar uh, and this is the last coin issued now there were no 1952 two shilling coins issued at the time the next one that they issued is 1953 for Queen Elizabeth II and my next video is going to be on these coins here so I hope this helps you with the value of your two shillings from the United Kingdom just remember they all pretty much have the same value uh, in uncirculated talking about five to ten dollars in this condition you're probably talking about a dollar so these five coins probably about a dollar each and I hope this helps you with your coin collecting thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time thank you and goodbye